United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, everyone. Let the record show that all members of the council are present, with the exception of Councilman Fairbank and Councilman Kerr. A copy of the Open Meetings Act is posted in the meeting room and is accessible to the public at any time during the course of this meeting. First item on the agenda is the consent agenda. All items under the consent agenda are considered to be routine by the City Council and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a council member or citizen so requests. First item is uh, item A, approve agenda as submitted. Item B, receive and place on file all notices pertaining to this meeting. Item C, receive and place on file all materials having any bearing on this meeting. Item D, approval of minutes of regular meeting on December 18th, 2017 as on file in the city clerk's office. Item E, approval of treasurer's report of claims in the amount of $89,169.03. Item F, approval of Boswell report of claims in the amount of $14,840. Item G, resolution number 6168, entering into a concession license agreement with Beatrice Girls Softball Association to license the BGSA to sell food and drinks out of the concession stand located on the real property, commonly referred to and known as Hannibal Park Ball Fields. And item H, resolution number 6169, executing the location, release, and authorization to use name, product, logo, release between the City of Beatrice, Nebraska, and the Travel Channel LLC, Travel Channel Media, Inc., and Painless Television, Inc., permission to enter and use the Beatrice Public Library to photograph, film, and record scenes in, the connection, in connection with the television program. Any item, any council member once removed from the consent agenda? Rick? H. Item H. Anyone else? Mr. Catlin? Mayor, I have a move that all the items listed on the consent agenda, with the exception of <coughs> item H, be approved, accepted, and or ratified as presented. Second. Moved by Catlin, second by Morgan. That items under the consent agenda be approved. End your vote, please. And that is approved 6 0. Moving back to item H. Item H. Mayor, I would move that <coughs> resolution number 6169 executing the location release and authorization to use name, product, and logo release between the city of Beatrice, Nebraska, and the Travel Channel LLC, Travel Channel Media, Inc., and Payless <coughs> Television Incorporated. Permission to enter and use Beatrice Public Library to photograph, film, and record scenes in connection with the television program be approved, accepted, and or ratified as presented. Second. Moved by Catlin, seconded by Claybaugh, that resolution number 6169 be approved. Discussion. I just want to know more about it. When's, when, approximately, when's it going to be? And it sounds really, really neat. I'd ask Lorraine if you've heard any dates as far as when they'll plan on being here. No, I haven't. I just know they called this afternoon and wanted to know if the city council meeting had happened yet and when it had been decided. And I assured him it's an evening meeting and I will be in touch with them tomorrow. They're obviously on some kind of tight frame where they, as soon as it's approved, they're excited about getting their filming uh, situation together. What they're interested in is the heritage room and the history side of this because that's what they're emphasizing in this program. Have they chosen their location? Well, they're actually, they were focused on something that happened in Wymore, and we just got pulled into it because they had contacted people in Wymore who were saying, oh, those resources and the, what you're interested in is stuff that they have to be at the public library. Okay. Mm -hmm. Further questions? All right, gentlemen, your vote, please. And that is approved 6 0. Yeah. <clears throat> Resolution number 6169 has been passed and adopted. We have no public hearings or resolutions or ordinances. That brings us to item number six, our public forum. Purpose of the public forum is for the presentation of an item by the general public to the city council for consideration at a later date. No discussion or action will be taken by the city council at this time. Any <coughs> council member have anything for the consent agenda? I beg your pardon, for the public forum. 
good. You're good? <laughs> Thanks. Perfect. That brings us to item number seven, discussion uh, and reports regarding Spark Data Demonstration, uh, the uh, IT program that we're using tonight. So we'll turn it over to Erin. All right, Erin. She's kind of been, took this project and been running with it, so. Yeah. She told me to bring mine. You didn't put that in there. So just because the city council or, or the city provides it for you doesn't mean you just leave it at home. Yeah, you'll need to bring it with you. Um, so you have their instructions, and I think everyone is logged on. And I was just going to go through kind of how you access your packets and everything now. Um, the first screen you come to when you log in, it'll have the meetings. This is the most current meeting and then any of the previous meetings should be underneath. I believe they're going to save like 12 or the right. first 12 meetings will be on there and then they'll be archived so you'll still be able to access those. So when you come in here, if you want to review your meeting or the packet before the meeting, you would want to select the meeting and then do the meeting quick view. And then the agenda and all of the attachments are here. If you want to look at the minutes for the last meeting, click on the link and you can push, um, select the X with the arrows and it'll expand it. So you can read it a little bit easier. And then to get back to the previous screen, you just X out of that and then X out of this also, and it'll take you back to the agenda. Um, same with the claims. Any attachments that you're going to have to the agenda item are going to be listed here. Um, it's pretty simple and easy to follow along, I believe. When you get to the meeting, the night of the meeting, you will select. The join meeting. Um, this software has the follow leader option, which is, I think, very handy. Um, whoever is going to lead the meeting, I believe we're going to have Abby usually do that. So you can just follow along, and as she's clicking through, it's going to just follow. You're just going to follow along, kind of like I did tonight, if you notice the screen as we were going through the meeting. Um, anytime if you click off of that and you want to look at a different agenda item, you can do so. And if you want to get back to the where the meeting is, you can just simply click follow leader again and it'll take you right where we are in the meeting. You gotta figure this way. Um, one other option or feature that they have is a note. So if you want to, if you have a question about the minutes or something at the last meeting, or you can click on add note and type in a reminder. If you have a question that you want to ask Tobias or the mayor or speak about, you can um, type that in there and it will only be, you will only be able to see it. No one, everyone else isn't going to be able to see your notes, um, but that'll just pop up as we're going through the meeting and just be a reminder for you. Um, I don't know, otherwise... If you have any questions, it'll save a little time and paper. paper. Our <clears throat> packets have gotten um, fairly large over the last year or so, and so this will be a little easier. There will be a, um, I'll have Chris Lindell put this on our city website and residents and um, whoever wants, they can sign in and they'll get an automatic email saying that the agenda is available and so the public can the follow public, along the public also. will be able to follow along also with the agenda kind of just how we have right now we're I think we get an alert through our Facebook page and Twitter when the agenda is up but I believe you'll get an email if they for anyone who logs in on the spark <coughs> we'll get that email letting them know that the agenda is ready so I don't have any other anything else really unless you guys do. Will they have access to the planning and zoning meetings? Um, or any other meetings that we run through Spark? I don't believe so unless we would give them permission at this time. Like right now, they're just set up as the council. 
that's certainly something if we want that done, we can make that available to them. So is there any thought under books or documents to add like the budget? Is that a capability? I know that they have. Um, I was just thinking one nice place. Yes, yeah, so they do know. have. I'm not sure how that all works, but they have um, documents, and we can certainly look into that when it, we. It might even time. be just a link. Just to be able to put to that the, in there. Where it's already said, just a thought. Okay. If we can figure out how to do that, is there anything else you guys would want? one place and eventually it also does have electronic voting so once we're all comfortable with this it would <coughs> have that capability um, there's also just thought of that there's also the raise hand feature so if we're in the middle of the discussion and you have something you want to say I just raise my can, hand and, and there's you? no meeting there's oh. no one. yeah yeah so, yeah so I quit leading the meeting there's not a meeting there, leader right now if there was a leader um, yeah, raise your hand now Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a little training to do. <laughs> and it'll show who's lead or who raised their hand first, and you can dismiss them as they're Look at here. called upon. Did you see that? It yeah. just said Rick Claybaugh oh, requests your attention. Yeah. Right. So now it should say. Back there. And so did Bob. That's Bob's on here, and so are you. <laughs> we'll answer so, us in. Oh. so when the Chiefs are playing on Monday Night Football, um, can we get ESPN on? updates? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just the other tab. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have Phil's laptop to do that, right? Yeah. What, what I didn't see was a chat function, so I could chat, you know, <laughs> just with you. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a possibility? I. What's that? The ESPN you had a chat function. Like a chat on that? function. I, mean, I don't recall them having anything, but this um, sparks out of Lincoln. Um, and they're open to anything. If they, anyone has any cities, cities have a new idea that they want on there, they are usually pretty good about trying to work with that. And, and then everyone, whoever has their program and software will get that capability also. So. It's kind of nice on the paper form to have the little quote you follow here about moved by the items listed under. That won't be on here though? It should be on there. Um, it's kind of listed in a different. Um, so on the consent agenda, it's just on the number two, not any of the subheaders. Um, it is in there. It'll have the motion in there. I'm not 100% sure how to. I'm learning. Put the blank one in there so we can follow up. Um, yes. That and that um, I should there. have. It didn't show up till after it was voted on. Let's see. I didn't think. What was that? Just the words itself about the following. The motion, made the motions and read it off like we do sometimes. <clears throat> I know that I have that capability of putting that in there. I thought I had one for adjourning the meeting, and I may have not put that in there for this meeting. So otherwise, I could have shown you that. So will we still be getting it? A sheet like this. <coughs> we will still have the worksheet okay. for okay. probably quite some time until we're familiar and if I can figure out how to sure. get that on there. I do know that it you should be able to just follow along and it has the motions. Yeah. I always like the worksheet personally. That way if Erin gets busy typing something, I can at least keep track of who's second and who so afterwards if she missed something on a minutes, we can go back and compare. Without having to watch the entire YouTube Very video. Rarely. He didn't say rarely, but you rarely misses something. It's rarely. It doesn't happen very often. Most time it happens when we have his next session and she decides to go home early, so. <laughs> any other questions? Comfortable? Got it? Anybody have any problems logging in tonight? Got to figure it out though, but yeah. You can always stop down Aaron, and, and <coughs> yeah, visit with you. And to get yep. originally. You got any questions? Call me, email me, stop by. I kept trying to put the other thing in and that didn't work. Yeah, unfortunately, yes, you do have to put your login and password in the correct order. And your email yeah. works better. Yeah, <laughs> we figured that out. We, we, we made that move about a year and a half ago for the college, and the biggest, I would say the biggest issue we have is people, they didn't maybe shut down their computer correctly so that when they come back the next time, there's no power. 
and so we have to string power cords out all over across the room. So we've already had that discussion, I think, <laughs> with a couple of there. these guys. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it. I, our um, next regular meeting will be on January 15th, and then there will be a work session on January the 22nd. Mr. Catlin, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. I just got a quick question. How many votes sure. to stop the, so the meeting won't be closed? Yeah. How many do we need to mess with? Quit over here. Okay. <laughs> Mayor, I would move that the meeting be adjourned at 7.15 p.m. Second. Moved by Catlin, seconded by Billsbach, that the meeting be adjourned at 7.15 p.m. Your vote, please, and that's approved 6-0.